for this video, I want to walk you through some of the steps you can take to create videos for your You Be the Historian presentation. I'm going to go through three ways of doing it. First, I'm going to do it via Zoom. Then I'm going to do it via VoiceThread. Finally, I'm going to walk you through using software on your iMac, if you're using an iMac, such as iMovies, to create a video presentation. If you're using a PC, you may have different steps you need to take to do it. But in any case, this should give you kind of the background on what you need to do to get a presentation ready for your You Be the Historian assignment. The first thing I'm going to do is take the presentation template uh, here, and I'm going to fill it out. Remember, I only need to use one graphic organizer in my presentation. So we've got a whole bunch here, but let's say that I just want to use one. Let's look at the force field analysis, and let's say that's the one I want to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of the others. And what I have left is uh, this one example of a graphic organizer. The nice thing that uh, I can also do is I can change, I can adapt it, say that I want to make this larger and stand out a little bit more, uh, or make this one more diminutive, and so that I show that it has a smaller effect. I can also move these around somewhat. And I can do that for both sides. But once I have this in place, once I have my title, my group name, my uh, unit that I'm working on, uh, I can go in here and edit the roles. I can create a statement, which is a one sentence, maybe two statement of what my takeaway is, what my conclusion is. And uh, then I can go into other slides and work on an overview. Uh, I can highlight my sources, putting them here in Chicago manual style Turabian format. And then, as I mentioned earlier, work on my force field analysis. In the voice thread, when I create an assignment and I'm adding media, I can go ahead and upload my file. VoiceThread will automatically take those slides in my PowerPoint and translate them into usable, manageable slides for use in the VoiceThread format. Once I have the slides imported, I can also go here and through VoiceThread delete the slides I don't want or add other slides that I do want. I can also add other media like audio recordings or photographs or videos in my presentation as well and then arrange them. Once I've added everything and have it in the order I want to use it, all I have to do then is go to the next step, which is the comment section. And again, we have the slides as they appear. And to comment, you can either phone something in and record it, or you can use your webcam. Most of you will simply click the microphone. Once you're finished with your presentation, you can close this out. So we're going to share this. We can go to export. And this will allow us to save the voice thread to our computer. So we click export. And while the video processes, when we're ready to move forward, we can check on the progress and we can see that the demonstration is ready. We can download it to our computer. Once we go into the submission link, we can upload this video and everyone will be able to see our video presentation. You also want to make sure that you allow other people to access. So take off the private settings. You can see how I'm doing this here so that anyone can see it. Uh, and you might also want to check in one other place too and make sure that the anyone can view and comment boxes are checked.
alternatively, what we can do is use Zoom. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we've got the Zoom screen up. What you'll wanna do is come to the screen share button, find the window you want to use. In this case, we'll go to the PowerPoint and we'll share that. On the PowerPoint template, we'll click view, reading view, this will give us a clean image of the PowerPoint. You can go through and record your statements over the PowerPoint while you're sharing it. When you're finished with the recording, then what you'll do is end your session in the meeting for all, and that will start the processing of your video. You can then take that video. It will appear as a video file in a folder in the Zoom tree. You can then go back to VoiceThread to the submission entry. And when you upload media, you'll upload this video and that will be your submission. Finally, if you're creating your video presentation with software such as iMovie, when you create this presentation, you can import, just like you can in VoiceThread, all sorts of images, PowerPoints, Now you'll have to move the PowerPoint into its individual JPEGs. And how you do that is by coming into PowerPoint, using the file select button to export, file select button to export your file. Now in PCs, this may be a little different. You'll export your video. You'll export your PowerPoint presentations into JPEGs. And you wanna slave every slide. Click export and this will create in your file system, wherever you designate it, preferably on the desktop so you can find it again, individual slides for the PowerPoint. You can then upload these into your media through your iMovies or whatever other movie system you're using. Once you have that in much the same way, you can start uh, using uh, voiceovers, you can add video, you can add other media, and then you can edit. Now, you can also um, use this in a number of different ways. If you create a film through one of the other systems, you want to edit it, you can bring it into this uh, software and you can edit it even more uh, thoroughly here. So once you've got a video set up and once you have it edited, you click this button to share it. You'll share it by exporting the file. You'll create on your system a title for the file. You'll see a dialog box that asks you to name your file, and you can change your name here. Uh, add a description, uh, set some format, uh, resolution capabilities, uh, and other types of information, uh, other changes you want to make. It's not really necessary at this point. Then click Next, and your export will begin. In your file system, again, you'll see the file saved. You can go into your UB the Historian submission and upload this as media. So at the end, uh, the end process is going to be the same. And you can see there's different ways of putting these presentations together in a video format that then you can share.